Welcome. It's your boy, Super Fresh Cowboy, coming straight from the barber. But today, we are starting up Sifu. Game gonna be dope. It's like a love letter to martial art movies, and I am a huge nerd for Kung Fu. Grew up watching Kung Fu movies. They're my jam. Parry. Night attacks. Get downs. What is that? What's going on? Who are you? Master. Who wants to go first? Leave him to me. <laughs> Kicked her in the coochie. My dude's going off. What is uh what's dodge? What's dodge? Dodge. Right trigger. Hang on a second. I gotta put dodge on my dodge button on my controller. This will take me two seconds. Love the Xbox controller. Customizing them move sets. Um I don't think I have any game right now where I use A for dodge. Let's edit this. I'm gonna make this right trigger. Okay. Back. And it's saved. We're good. Uh, this is early access, but I think if you like pre-ordered it, you get to play it now as well. I thought you said they'd put up a fight. I'm barely breaking a sweat. Sweep the place. Nobody leads. Sure. So it doesn't sound too terrible. Where's the audio? Should we make the audio? I don't even see a way. It might, might be main menu to go change the audio. We might just keep it in English. Confused about what happened to Enchanted Knight and Bloody Wolf for Elden. Those classes are gone. I said at the start of that video that those were classes for the network test and they were unconfirmed if they were the classes for launch. So, you know, launch classes are more than likely going to be different. Game audio seems low. Yeah, it's kind of quiet. Let me see if I can... I think audio levels are... Let me put up sound effects and dialogue. I'll just boost them up some. We have no idea why he's laying the smack down and we just started playing. The first thing we did was start whooping ass. How do I, can I stomp somebody when they're on the ground? Let's see controls. Start heavy pick up, throw weapon. Oh, okay, hold attack on downed enemy. So I had to hold B to stomp on his nuts. Oh, weapon. Deflect. Focus. Those make sense. Throw weapon. Uh, can I remap? It might make sense to just swap B and right trigger. Let me just swap B and right trigger. Uh, wait, remapping. 
You said custom. Uh, we're gonna make dodge be an unbound takedown. Oh shit! Well, we can we can fix that. Hang on. No, no, no. Where am I going? Directional throws X and A. Throw weapon, pick up weapon. We'll do that. Take down. Take down, it should be X, Y. Why can't I not bind this? Uh, let me go Y and X. Damn, I can't rebind the advance. That's weird. Directional throw, V map, current input. Well, that sucks. Um, all right, we're just gonna put it back to default. Why isn't it letting me? Now this is on PC and PlayStation. Throw weapon, pick up weapon, dodge, take down, Y and B. So if a takedown is bound to two buttons, I can't. Take down is what next. Directional throw. Yeah, oh, damn it. That's weird. We're just gonna put it on default and I'll just get used to that, I guess. Yeah, this is the same people that made Absolver. All they're eating dinner. Yang. How You haven't missed much right at the start. I was messing around with the button configs for a minute there. Where is he? Stop. Yang. Of course. You've gotten slow, Sifu. You know why I'm here, don't you? Just step aside. You were a mistake. <laughs> Sifu means master. I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. By returning here tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must.
punch you in the eyes. I look into your eyes, I see nothing but a frightened, angry child. I'm going to change the controls very slightly. I'm not going to do uh, what I wanted to since that won't work. But I will change. Uh, where's my parry at? It's just because I'm used to hitting that trigger. To, to block and to guard. So we'll make that guard and then I can hold the thing for focus. I think this is main character. That's the dude we actually play. Show yourself. Boy or girl. Actually cut our dude down. Damn, he did. Murder and children. This is our magical resurrection talisman. I got one of those upstairs. They sent me one in the press kit. Put it on. So I can resurrect in battle. Oh shit, I dodged one. Oh, the follow up.
Bro, this game is clean as fuck. Attack. I thought down attack was hold B. Hmm. Down attack ain't working. Because holding right trigger allows you to sprint. This is weird. I bet it has something to do with me changing the controls off default. Let me put them put them on default for now. Then we'll go back to custom when we're out of this. Yeah, see now it's now it's working. Down attack, hold B. Should have abandoned Pokemon and made this the new series. This game looks like it's gonna be dope. Back to my custom set. Now that we're past that tutorial, it was weird. Dodge, take down, up, throw. Yeah, all of this is is a. Uh... I wonder why I got bugged there. Yeah, it's we're drunk on Coke Zero. No XP. 360 swing. Strong sweep focus. Snap kick, spin hook kick, charged back fist. Wait, like. Oh, that's a hurt. Face smash focus. Weapon catch, pushback cancel, ground counter involved. There's all kinds of shit we can learn. So, this is the tree of skill where we learn our skills. Gar the botanist. He's the one who cut my throat that night. He's the first on my list. He works for a gang as a botanist that never leaves the warehouse. Oh, damn. Okay, so this is kind of like Kill Bill. Like, we got, we're going back, getting revenge vibes. Sweep the palm strike. After a parry, lightning strikes, sharp strikes, directional throw, or kap choy while running combos. You do one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, Y, one, two, three, Y, one, two, three, four, Y. So it's like Dynasty Warrior style where I can go light, light, heavy, light, 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 heavy, light, 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 heavy, 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 light, heavy. There's like just combos of everything. Sifu. We give praise to Sifu. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's my regular combo. What's that? Push kick. Whoa, push kick? Chaining push kick into stuff? One, two, three, four. So we got one, two, kick into a wall. Uh, 
Uh, what is it? It's a boom, 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 boom. Oh, I like that. And then you get on them and beat them. That's weird. My punch isn't working, though, while they're on the ground. Hang on. I got one, two, three. Why isn't that working? I bet I can. I think it's just I'm just going to have to get used to the, the controls, I think. Otherwise, I won't be able to do the... It's weird how it's not working. Because I haven't changed. Only thing that I changed... Oh, I see why it wasn't working. Pick up weapon. Still under B. That's why. So we're going to make... Guard that, and then focus. Okay, now it should work. I, I missed a... Uh... Yep, there we go. We're good. How do I pick up weapons again? Or block. I like that we can come in here, just free training dummy at any time. Squats. Start. We have over here, this is where we look at our board. Dang. All the people that helped murder Sifu. I'm down if you want to make this a series after the stream. I mean, I've already recorded Pokemon uh, up until Horizon releases, so... You know, it is what it is. But this is fantastic. I'm liking this a lot. They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Need to find another way inside. This has, like, major... Get lost. Kung Fu Nothing vibes, and I'm all about it. I warned you, asshole. You warn these nuts! Cause they're going in your mouth! Kung Fu Master! How's the game running, by the way? We got, um... 4K DLSS is on performance mode. I mean, everything's running really smooth on my end, but uh, I know we've been having issues with dying light, so I wanted to check with y'all. Put the shadows up on high as well. Yeah, there's very nice audio to this. Hey, you! I want to see what's outside. Outside. That's the other thing with Dying Light. Like, I'm trying to enjoy it, but like, bro, every time I try playing it, we're just running into bugs. Like, I just want to play a game that's not buggy. And this is running smooth. Well, there's been some a little, little bit of control wonkiness with being able to customize, but like stuff like that. I don't think they'll be. A I'm not worried about that because the game itself is working fine. Well, we put it to a vote. There's more. It's a close vote, but more people want to keep English. I mean, it's not like bad English dub. Elbow strike to the face. I Jane gave this game a 9 out of 10. I mean, this so far, this is dope. Given I'm a huge, huge nerd for Kung Fu movies. So, 
I knew I was gonna love this game, but like this is slick. Like right now, can make it. Just need to run at it. Came to the wrong place, pal. This game is a, a perfect example of uh, art style over graphics. Because if you were to look at this game strictly on graphics, you'd be like, oh, you know, Ghost of Tsushima looks so much better. But this isn't a game for graphics. The artistic style of the game, though, is beautiful. And then you have games like Pokemon where both the artistic style and the graphics are dookie. You remember the combos? Yeah. So we have we have our regular combo. We have our kick combo, which is XXY. We have XXXY, which is the roundhouse. Uh, and then we have XXXXY. Wait, hang on. XX XX, which is that that uh, strike combo? It's it's similar to Dynasty Warriors combos because you have a you basically have a light light heavy, light 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 heavy. Light, 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 heavy, and then heavy, heavy, light, heavy. Open it! Open up! Don't make me bust it! Check this fucking clown out! Clown, you say? Your face is the only thing clown here! How do so many of you clowns fit into the clown car? go. I want that pipe. Yeah, so my camera is covering the focus bar though, not the health bar. So we're just gonna leave the camera where it's at. That's just a, it shows me when I can use my focus. You can see the health bar up top in the top left. When I said I come to lay pipe, this is not what I had in mind. it will have to do. is not the end though xp costs two bars 360 swing staff up and zone powerful strike to the enemy's knee knocking them down snap kick 
kick some in the gut. Ooh, spin hook looks good. Charge back this takes a bit to go up. Base smash, weapon catch. That could be good. Let me get the counter stuff first. There's a, a unique aging mechanic to the game. So every time you die, one gets added to your age, so it's exponential. So if I die um, at, you know, let's say I die at 20, I'll be 21. The next time I die, I'll be at 23. The next time I die, I'm gonna go up to 26. The next time I die, I go up to 31. And then it's like 36, 43, and anyway, it's exponential. So eventually you get older and older and older. See, so we're now from 20 to 21. Damn. Thought it was over. Uh, 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 hurts get the better of you. And it looks like I somehow got back. So you get those skills reset each mission since you didn't get the permanent version? I'm not sure. <clears throat> My guess is the permanent version, huh? It's a good question. What happens if you reach a hundred years? Warehouse. You did. I'm getting closer. Maybe I should save up for permanent versions. Damn. Permanent unlock five times. Yeah, so it might be that I just have it for this mission. Maybe I, I should save my XP for permanent unlocks then. Okay, so I don't need to save. I can just I can spend it towards it That's it get up So tough after all Another jump here. I can make it. Yeah, you can die pretty easy. I mean, it's it's it embraces everyone in chat's favorite ideology of get good. Oh, we got a big boy. Shame, I'll have to throw you back through it. You missed the Jade statue. Well, I don't got time to go back for it now. Hold left trigger and hit back. Did you forget how to fight? Oh, oh no! Please don't spoil shit like that. If you tell me I missed stuff again, I'm gonna have to ban you from chat. I know you're trying to help, but I don't like spoilers at all. It's just it's how I play games, so. down in a bathroom. Yeah, 
You will be extra late tonight. Oh god, I gotta dodge! What other stuff do I want? I think that, uh, uh, where was it at? The ground thing. The ground attack could be really good. Yeah. Need 750 for that. Yeah, kicking them into stuff is good. I keep we're just gonna I keep accidentally hitting a uh, right bumper to parry now because I had to at the start, so I'm just gonna put it on default. And just keep it on default. A quick tap parry actually seems to work better for this game. Honored soon? Nah, bro. We're good. We're just getting warmed up. I mean, we're what? We're 30 minutes into the game? Don't worry. We'll be there. We'll get it. How the fuck you get in here? With great difficulty. With help from your sister. Oh, gas situation? That got resolved last night. I actually, I did, I did a little bit of kung fu when I was younger. It was fun. But I'm too much of a beefy boy. I'm a lot better with like a... Just a zug zug style. Than actually, uh, than actually, like, using swiftness like this. Yeah, only no Zug Zug now. That's it. Whooping ass!
Us and nobody gets through. George stays alone. He's expecting me. I don't think so. Red enough? <laughs> 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 that was fun. Came from that one, all right? Pick room we roared. Increase maximum structure. Wait, what? Hold up. Increase maximum structure. Increase health gain on takedowns. Increase weapon durability. Score needed to unlock XP. Death counter. Reset it to zero. Prove weapon damage and impact on opponent structure. That's half of the focus bar. Max age to unlock. Score needed to unlock. So I would need, if I get weapon durability, I can get that now while I'm still 25. Weapons seem really strong, so weapon durability is a pretty clear winner in my book. Pass key for the room at the sanctuary. Locked. One's private room. Smell, I want to check real fast. Stop running, you little shit! Sweep me. Wait. I can permanent unlock that. So now I can always parry weapons. Be good.
hang on. There's some garbage in my stream I got to take out. Oh, never mind. Mods already took care of it. Can't get the knockdown hit on him. One combo. Yeah, Rising Claw. Why can I not get that off? Oh, God. Dude, that dodge is so tight. I have spent eight long years preparing for this. Ooh, it decapitated him. got that beard going on does your health increase as you age opposite your health decreases but your damage increases so the idea is while your character is getting older and in theory weaker in terms of health he becomes more experienced and is also more deadly where do I go Right here, huh? Um, push to regain your balance while on the ground, parry to counter your enemy's attack. I feel like that would be, I feel like all the parry stuff I want to pick up. I don't know what permanent unlock means, but I'm going to keep pushing towards it. What controller do you use? I use a Series X Pro controller. Club. I think this is what we played in the uh, the demo. Uh, 
I don't know what the max age is. I'm guessing 100. Is your Dark Souls 2 100 walkthrough? It's not 100% walkthrough. It's not titled as such. Forget about it. If you're not on the list, you're not getting inside. Your face is not on the list. <laughs> Screw you as well. Private party. Back off. Yeah. Yeah? What do you want? Drop your weapon! Everybody here look like they want to get ass beat. I believe in gender equality. Everyone can catch these hands. Health gain on takedowns would probably be good. Improve weapon damage. I got weapon durability. Let me get this. I think these are permanent unlocks. Where's your focus gauge? It's it's covered up by the camera, but you just you see it. It fills up, and you can press the button for it. It will match your face when I am done. Can't seem to get my uh hmm. 
Ooh. There's that move. Struggling to get a couple of my moves off. I think I parried when he threw the bottle. Even the bartender has not spared my fury. You can like kick these things at them. Oh no, I'm packed in a corner. I need a better focus. I'm thinking maybe the strong sweep to knock somebody down. And then the pushback focus as well. My guess is when you... I don't know if you need to get through the whole game on one life or if it's per level. But my guess is that when you permanently unlock a skill, you have it even when you resurrect. So like minor roguelike. In the sense that you like keep pushing through. Is the Chinese audio Cantonese or Mandarin? My That's guess would be Mandarin. This is not the three way I wanted. Yeah, throwing people into other people is super, super good. You are 
not supposed to be part of tonight's group. Let me through. I don't want any trouble. You are. I said to let me through! You Birthday today. One round is on me to celebrate. Thank you, Paulo. Hope you have a good birthday. Let me unlock this too. You must enjoy the taste of defeat. Oh man, that hook kick does work. my life you stole With this pass I can go directly to the burning I think that's that door that was locked at the start You are stretched. Any regrets now? No, I was about to throw her into him and then, oh man. Rise again. You catch one bottle, or can you catch two? It seems the answer is no. impact of parry that would be super good i wonder if these are permanent unlocks it's focus regain on successful or avoid or parry that could be really good Age is like a death counter, more than a level. Step forward. You're about to be tested. This place will crush you.
master's mind is broken. He will drag you and all the others down into the abyss. Look around you. You don't look so different to me. If you didn't want to fight, why would you fight this far? Just going up fast, dude. Oh no, bro! Oh, straight blasted my ass off a ledge. Deaths out of me. Elden Ring Let's Play is going to be a faith build. there I wanted to put them uh, into my other thing shit you impress me again oh yeah don't don't be talking anything about Elden Ring in chat any anything that's spoilers related to classes zones none of that shit bringing that up gonna get you timed out instantly if you want to read spoilers for Elden Ring you do that shit on your own time you bring it into this chat you were getting yeeted out We'll ball you up in a barrel, launch your ass out of a catapult. You can talk, talk about how excited you are, but that is it. I don't want to know shit about that game. Just current age, uh, sixty five. <laughs> it's not looking good, man. End of the road for you. The trial is finished. You look like 
like you can fight. Show me. <laughs> 70 this is this is max What's age no oh, bro stop i'm parried i swear i need my parry meter to come down Oh, God, no. Nope, 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 nope. Got a space. Got a space him. Damn. Uh, you will lose your current progress. Shine bonuses and skills not permanently unlocked will be lost. So we are, oh, so I start back at the club, but I'm still 32. Oh wait, I didn't, I, knew, I wanted to, man, I wanted to practice the thing. If you take the health on takedown. Yeah, I'm probably going to need that. Well, I was trying to do one move and it just wasn't working right. Yeah, a lot of people tend to say I was trying to use that move a bunch, but people kept blocking that elbow. So after the back fist, two, three. So I gotta hit Y, I go after the back fist for that combo. Back fist goes into Ryan House. One follow up from the back fist to do the other attack. I'm not trying to get real training. I was trying to figure out a uh, combo stuff. So I can go back to the squats and potentially start the club at a younger age. So I guess my, my, one of my questions here, well, I don't know. Let's just, let's just do the club. <clears throat> I don't know. Should I go back to the first level to be younger? What do y'all think's the, the play here? So I did get that key card, so I think I can go through this area faster now. Private party, back off! Not so tough after all. Yeah, I need I need more health on takedown. Go back and get perfect score. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning to that. Yeah, let's let's go back to the first level. 
Because I have two different keys that will probably work here. I mean, people keep trying to spoil stuff and act like they won't get banned. Especially once with Elden Ring around the corner, like, mods are, are full on in, like, no chill mode. Like, you do spoilers, you're gone. You talk about new classes, you're gone. You talk about new spells, you're gone. You talk about lore and how you think it actually relates to Dark Souls, believe it or not, also gone. I warned you, asshole. So 25 XP for that. Also jail. <laughs> Straight to jail. Same vibes. I mean, when Elden Ring is released, honestly, there there's a really good chance we might just go, um... Locked until we fucking say so. We might, we might go member only mode. So that key I got earlier unlocks this, so I can get to the boss faster. That's cool. Because the members have been here, you know, the members know not to spoil shit. Only a fool would come here. We need to take you out. Oh, God, no! You asshole. Mm. 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 At least tell us if you have early content. Uh, I, I won't know. You gotta realize, even even when I get a game early, if I get a game early or if I get early content, stuff like that is still potentially under embargo. It depends. Um, so hang on, I might be able to get... Let me try putting all of them towards increased health on takedowns. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Like Horizon, for example. We were allowed to say we have Horizon and we were allowed to post the title screen. But until the review embargo is up, we can't say anything else about it. Came to the wrong place, pal. And sometimes we're not even allowed to say when we have a game early, you know? If when we got Horizon, if PlayStation had been like, all right, you know, here's your copy, you're not allowed to, to um, don't even tell people you have it until the 14th, then that's that. Because if they say, don't tell people you have the game, and then I go on stream and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm playing Horizon right now. One, there's a good chance that they are going to take down any content that I produce of it. And the other... It's going to destroy my relationship with Sony and with other publishers and other developers because then they look at you and they go, oh, this channel isn't trustworthy. They don't agree to embargoes. Content creators have to sign a contract or something not to release content. Sometimes. Sometimes it's contractual. Um, other times it's more just like a verbal agreement. Like very rarely are you like signing a full legal contract. I have for certain stuff, especially activations. Like if I'm doing something that's, uh, you know, or something that's really early and sponsored, I'm usually signing specific contracts in place. But usually it's just the, you know, you agree to the, the embargo timing. And you, I mean, well, actually, no, a lot of times you'll, you'll digitally sign something. But the bigger thing is like, even, even if you, you know, even if you didn't sign anything, the reality is, if you are, if you agree to the embargo and then you break the embargo, guess what? That's gone. Like, you break a, you break an embargo from Sony, you're never getting a Sony game again. At least not from them. Like there was, I forget who it was. It was either it was like PC Gamer or Otaku or or, or, or uh, PC Gamer or Kotaku. One of them, one of them got access to, 
uh, I think it was, it was like Assassin's Creed, and they got the game early, as do most review things, and they started putting up stuff about it. And Ubisoft told them, like, hey, the embargo says, don't put this up, and they tried to, like, do some loophole shit. And then, like, after that, they, they just didn't get any games from Ubisoft for, like, two or three years. So, you know, even... <laughs> Even if it doesn't end up in legal problems, the bigger issue is if you do gaming coverage and, you know, you're trying to review these games and play them and get content prepped up, uh, you break those embargo agreements and that's the end of that. You can fucking kiss early access goodbye. You can kiss, you know, you're never going to be able to get the game reviewed in time for launch. Uh... You know, you just don't, you know, even opportunities, like stuff like the network test, you know, where I was able to... Like, I didn't have to get chosen for the network test. Bandai was able to guarantee access to the network test because they know that I'm a creator surrounding Elden Ring. If I was to break embargo, that would have never happened. I wouldn't get access to the network test, I wouldn't get early access to the game, I wouldn't get early access to anything Bandai reduced. Like, like, think about it like this, like you... If I had... Uh, and it, it goes far. Like, Bandai did uh, Scarlet Nexus and Tales of Arise within the last year. If I had broken embargo on either of those titles, my chances of getting Elden Ring early would have been non-existent. So ultimately, it comes down to... It's, it's, a, it's the trust that you establish with the publishers and developers. And then, oh my god, dude, that trust is the agreement. Does it member only mean we can watch but not talk? Yeah, no, you'll still be able to watch. You'll always be able to watch content. If we if we go on member only, it just means that people that aren't members won't be able to chat. And that'll be to prevent spoilers. I think I try to go for that one combo too much. I keep trying to go for that, that knockdown combo. I will probably do walkthrough prep streams, yes. Yeah, we went back to the start to try and get an earlier age for the second level. But I got my ass beat there. I might just... Hang on. Let me grab a couple more early... Th I think it makes sense to probably play through the whole level and get all the statues to try and get a permanent unlock. If your game is good and you know it, then there's no reason to hide anything until release of it. No, not necessarily. You gotta think about, about spoilers. Embargoes aren't necessarily, like, a lot of time, embargoes aren't because, like, oh, our game's bad and we don't want people to know. Uh, way, way more often, embargoes are because people don't want spoilers. Because if you don't have embargoes in place, you're gonna have that person that day one at launch they're gonna put up, you know, Elden Ring final boss, and they have the fucking picture of the boss and the thumbnail and the boss's name and all that shit. With embargoes in place, that shit does not happen. I just want to take some extra time to find all the statues. The Last of Us got spoiled, and a lot of people actually ended up getting in legal trouble from that. Hey, you! Like, there's people who straight up lost their jobs. So, you know, spoiling is bad no matter how you cut it. Junkies. I don't think they'll be a problem.
I didn't even see what that guy said, but he got instant banned, so I'm guessing it wasn't smart. How long were a content creator before you started getting review copies of games? How long did you just outright buy any games you wanted to cover? Um... Oh, that's a good question. Hang on. Go to videos. I gotta sort back. We're gonna go back to the beginning of time. Let's see. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Actually, can I sort playlists out by... I don't know. Play date won't work on playlists because I reorganized them. So I started, I started making videos in like 2012. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Trying to think the first game I got. I mean, the first, the first one I can remember was, uh, Ubisoft, I got one of the Far Cry games early. Let's see. I think it was was it Assassin's Creed? Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, because I think my, my Black Flag series did really well, and that's when he noticed, like, oh, this person makes videos. Do stuff. South Park. Dark Souls 2. It had to have been, I think, Far Cry 4. Wasn't Dark Souls 2? That lady. Damn, I'm like scrolling through all these fucking games I played. No. No. I've made a lot of videos over the years. Holy shit. Evil Within. I think I might... No, did I get Lords of the Fallen early? Here we go, yeah. Far Cry 4, Early Outpost, October 2014. So, two years. It took two years of making content before I made my first developer relationship. keep keeping my eye out for all the statues I'm in a good relationship with um, pretty much every major publisher these days I think Open it. Open up. this part was badass oh god This is made by the same people that made Absolver. Put 
that down. Mainers, welcome to the Booty Nation. So far, all the statues we found. Oh no, there was one inside at the second level. So I think I need to get all of the upgrades in a tree to permanently unlock one. I'm gonna go to the second level, like, real young. Yeah, that, that, that's what we're trying to do. We're, we're basically going back to try and get abilities, uh, certain stuff permanently. So good. All right, so you were permanently unlocked. Okay, so I get I get credit. I need to unlock. I need to pay seven fifty for to unlock it on the run, and then the permanent unlocks towards it continue. Haven't you had enough? He has a weapon. <laughs> What, bro? A death counter has gone down. Watching your channel since back in the Dark Souls two days, you helped me through a lot of years. Keep the good work. Appreciate that. Lots of good work to come. Best work yet coming up. Hang on. Health gain on takedowns. Oh. 
Cool. Um, wasn't there... I think I'm coming up on the other area. I think there's three shrines per level. Health gain on takedowns, I think, is one of the most important. So we should focus on getting that maxed out first, I think. I'm gonna really hunt these things down. Elden Ring. I'm just gonna move on to something new. Elden Ring will be on the channel for a while. Um, I am really excited to play Stranger of Paradise though, and that's gonna be right after Elden Ring. Basically, the schedule is Horizon, Elden Ring, Stranger of Paradise, and then uh, that Borderlands game. It's the point of the age system if you get up to so let me explain the age system so you start the game at 20 each time you die your age goes up but it can compound if you play well you can keep the compounding factor at one but otherwise it'll go up so you'll go from you'll go 20 to 21 to 23 to 27 to 33 to 38 and you'll keep getting older and older then you die after the age of 70. um the health you have when you beat a level is the health you can start at the next level with. So level two, we were already 35 when we were starting. I'm playing back through to be in like my early 20s when I start the second level just to make it a little bit less stressful, you know, have have more uh, more years. Um, if you get to that that age mark when you're playing, though, you permanently die. And you have to go back to the beginning of that level. Now, you'll be able to play that level from where you were at. In my case, I could have restarted the second level at 35. But instead, I'm going back and replaying the first level and doing better to try and keep my age super low and get some upgrades that are really useful. Who in the fuck are you? Ah, he kicked her. He kicked her trying to dodge me. Right now we're 23 and we're like getting close to the end of this level. Fighting all these guys because they killed our Sifu. I thought you could kick furniture, but I haven't been able to figure it out. I thought it was like... Same as the throw button, but it's not working. Or is it B? Is it B kick it? I remember in the demo I was like kicking boxes and kicking chairs and shit at people. How the fuck 
You get in here. Through the door. Must have taken a wrong turn. Holy shit! I patched it out so there's no prompt. Can you still do it? Did they did they remove the prompt or did they remove the whole action? How many hours? Eldon, they already said uh what are they? I think they're trying to make like at the the main story they said you could do in like twenty to thirty. I feel like we're at the end and I've only found one one statue. I know there's more. You're sure about that, Kung Fu? Honestly, it amazes me how long you've lasted in this fucking job. Look what we have. Only a fool would come here. Ignored a statue just now? Wait, what? Hang on. What? Where? I was looking. I didn't see it. Hang on. Go back upstairs. Fuck. Can I go? Can I go back? Oh. Fuck. In the room with the two. I, I was looking. I just didn't see it. I thought there was- I thought I found one when I took the shortcut earlier, too. Oh, let me go back! So are there three per level? Because there's the one near the start, and then I thought when we when we started this and I took the shortcut at the beginning that I saw one as well. We need to spend this XP anyway. Uh, ground counter. You must enjoy the taste of defeat. Or even after beating the boss, I'll probably finish this level at like 25, 26.
body gets through it. George stays alone. Step aside. I don't want to have to hurt you. You must be. Younger, more health, older, more damage. So there's the one... Isn't this like the shortcut room that I was able to go to? There should be one like right around here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, and the shortcut brought me to this one earlier. So that's three. There's three per level. Fuck! Let me see if I can backtrack somehow. Well, no, that, that door locks. Well, let me get my skill permanent, and then I'll just restart it, and I'll speed run to get the, the last statue. That way we have the first level done, and we're in a good, good position. Because I should get that statue, and then haul ass... I know we're doing good, but I missed the statue. I missed the, the uh, second statue, so I still got to go back. But I'm going to permanently unlock uh, Sweet Perry first. Before I go back. Still locked. I don't have the key for that. I must get that key in a later level. Wait, no, that door can open. Well, this is the this is the botanist already. Well, the statue upgrades I'm getting are the ones that are age locked. Phase one done. Uh, that should be enough to permanently unlock ground counter. Uh, 
I don't think there's any other weapons in this area for me to grab, though. Oh, there we go. Get this. Turn that pole off. So, let me, uh, we're gonna go back again. We're gonna get that last statue. Because that last statue, uh, I can't get it once I hit a certain age. That's the thing. I want to get. I want to permanently unlock that shrine. So I think where it is. I'm trying to think how how far ahead does the shortcut take you? Because I know we can get through this level super fast. Yes, we got ground counter and weapon timing. So our parries are getting easier. I want to pick up all of the parry counter stuff and get that to be permanent. I warned you, asshole. Now, does this skip access to the very first one? Or can I still get all three going this way? That's what we got to figure out. Skip it going this way. So where does this put us out? I don't see the thing is there's one right here. I don't remember seeing this one though. Because this is a whole separate route. So there's that one. Will this bring me to the hallway where I got the second one and the two dudes? Yeah, this is a whole separate route, so... Where does the second route bring me, though? Straight into the greenhouse, okay. So if I want to get three, I need to go through the whole... Well, but so there's three on the main path and there's one on the alternate path. So what we need to do is actually we need to play through this level, get get the early one, the mid one, and the late one. And then we need to play through the level a second time and pick up the fourth one and then go to the second level 
with four unlocks. That's what we have to do. If we're really trying to like min-max our shit. Which I think makes sense. I mean, you could argue like, oh, we'll just do multiple playthroughs. I'd rather like really dig into the first level on this stream and get all that shit done. Nothing here for you. Plus, we can get the, uh, the positioning recovery. You should lose progress when you go back. You lose progress if they're not permanently unlocked. But if I get three going through the level, which you can, I'll permanently unlock a skill. And then when I go through the shortcut route, I can get one, and that'll carry on to the second level where I can get two more. You stay what score do you give this? Uh, I'm not really. I mean, I'm, I'm basically on the first and second level. I don't think I can really review it. Uh, but initial impressions, at least, are extremely favorable. The game is really fun. I like doing that a lot. Yeeting people off ledges. All right then. All right. Is there? I'm trying to remember. Where was the first one at? I don't think it was here, unless it was in that side room that I just dodged. It wasn't in the room where he's like, "Oh, junkies!" Right? It's up ahead. I got a cow zone upstairs. I'm really hungry. I could stream till Paige is home with the baby. Dip that cow zone, eat and play. I need to start like writing down where these things are. You're looking to score something? Oh no, the first one is in this room. Remember it was like right around here because I was like, oh, there it is. Um, it might be. I mean, it's in these apartments. There's the apartments. There's the two dudes, and there's the alleyway. Should be. Oh yeah, this is the hallway. It's right after the hallway, right? Yeah. We're gonna get through this level at fucking 20. Through power of rebirth, I will become the greatest kung fu master the world has ever known. health, level 20, let's go. Jinx in it? Bitch, please. Motherfucking Kung Fu Master right now, do you see this?
one of these rooms that had it. Right? It's before you jump down to fight the dude. I thought it was before that. I thought it was like right in here somewhere. I mean, this place is pretty fucking grungy. I'm thinking pushback cancel. Oh, environmental mastery. Throw an item, weapon, or object directly from the ground. What's this? Boom. Oh, that's kind of dope. Attack on a pushed enemy to follow up with a series of powerful strikes. That could be good. That could be really good. A parry follow up. Chasing trip kick, crotch punch. Oh, let's get pushback cancel. I want to be able to, because that'll cover all of my movement related stuff to parry. So close to being dead. The warehouse. I'm getting closer. Oh shit, there it is. So look, if I go through that door, I take that lower route instead of the rooftop route. There it is. Um, all right. Now, in terms of going forward into the game, if I wanted to max out weapon durability, I should pick that up now while I'm young. With that in mind, health gain on takedowns is probably more valuable. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go preheat the oven real fast. I'm gonna put this to a vote. And y'all let me know what you think is going to be more beneficial. Because keep in mind, after I'm 25, I can't get weapon durability anymore. So I could max that out so my weapons are permanently durable. Or I could go for the safe route, which is going to be health gained on takedowns, which will keep me alive longer to have that done. So let's hit this up. All right, then I'm gonna go fire the oven up. I'll be right back.
Chat thinks health on down. I need a drink too. Actually, I'll wait. I'll get a um, I'll get a drink when I get my calzone. You got fists, screw weapons, just be good. I mean, my fists are good, but weapons help. <clears throat> there is one difficulty, the get good difficulty. And where do I proceed? Go this way. That's right, gotta go up the thing. Smack the shit out you, Charles. I was trying to see if I could just jump straight over. Can't you just replay this level to get the weapon one later? I can. But the thing is you need so you need three to permanently unlock stuff. Oh god. Oh fuck! Bro, I was hoping Palm Strike would take his ass down. He said no. You impress me, little guy. Man, I was literally one hit from getting him. Ah, I should have killed the other people instead of throwing them off ledges. It would have given me enough health to take him down. The thing is, weapon fucks people up. Like with weapon, it's really easy to regain your health back. This is on PlayStation and PC. Sorry, Xbox gang. I didn't go this way before, I don't think, right? I don't, no, wait, 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 wait. No, that's the that that's the room that has the thing. Isn't it? How the fuck you get in here? Yeah, it's right there in front of me. I'm only here for the work. Second one. Brush pipe. I mean, weapon, it was weapon durability, right? Because there are lots of weapons around. So when you think about it, you know, needing durability on 
one particular weapon I could probably get by on. Hang on, this is the room. Was there, there's one more after this, right? Yeah, there's the hallway one. No, wait, wasn't the hallway one on the way here? No, it couldn't have been. See, we do the outdoor hallway before, uh, No, the shortcutted one was a different one. I'm basically doing like stealth takedowns. Hey, you. Man, I killed so many people and they're still coming at me. No shit, she powered up. Gonna enjoy this. Oh man. No way, no fucking way. Horizon coming out a week before the game that must not be named because the game that must not be named delayed itself a month. Y'all gotta remember, Elden Ring was supposed to be out already. It was supposed to release in January and they pushed it back to February. So originally, we would have had a chance to get through all of Elden Ring before Horizon. It's right after this. Okay, then. No, I thought I dodged. Ugh. Here's the hallway. This is the third one. It's out here. There it is. So I think... I think that's permanently unlocked now, no matter what. I think we always have max health on takedown. You don't have to get all three in one run, but for what we're doing, I had to. Because when I, so the thing is, those will carry into the next level, and ones I get in the next level can count towards it. But by getting those three and getting them done, no matter what level I'm on, uh, we'll have, we'll have our, our three.
chip. Try to scratch my face. Take a hit. I need to get follow up on pushback next. Leg sweep does not work on bosses, man. Dude just straight dodges it. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? No! I dodged! Bro, no! You bitch! Pushback cancel is permanently unlocked. He was so close to dead. You are dead. Spent eight long years I can probably go put that pizza in. Be right back. Alright, got 10 minutes till calzone time. So, I think it's permanently unlocked. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yes, there we go. So, ground counter, pushback, weapon, and health gain on takedowns. All of those are permanently unlocked. And so now, we go back to the squats. I can get that one from the shortcut and then carry that shortcut one into the second level. And be even younger. Get lost. I warned you, asshole. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna permanently unlock follow-up next. 
Because I do the, the, the push kick a lot, <clears throat> and pushing that up with a flurry of punches would be really good. I want to get through this while the pizza's heating up. Calzone, whatever. Calzone is just a pizza cup folded in half. You stay there. Hey, you. I pity. Put that down. Oh, my God. Yeah, guess who has the bat now? Bro, bitch. Uh... What the fuck? Do I need four unlocks to make it permanent? Why don't I have it? Why don't I have health gained on takedowns? Shrine bonuses and skills not permanently unlocked will be lost. Oh, sh Do shrine bonuses not carry over when you restart a level? I think the skills, well, shrine bonus, because I read it as shrine bonuses and skills not permanently unlocked, not shrine bonuses and skills not permanently. I thought the permanent applied to both shrine bonuses and skills. Only if you keep going. Fuck. Well, it said it on the warning screen. The, damn it. It was, it was a, fuck. It was a wording issue. It should have said, if, if this text just said, you will lose your current progress, skills not permanently unlocked, and shrine bonuses will be lost. That would have been clear. But saying shrine bonuses and skills not permanently unlocked makes you assume that you can get both of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna email the devs that real fast because that's that's definitely. Uh, um, let me grab a uh, do, 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 um, screenshot of this. By the way, I ordered a new camera. Um, we're gonna try the Elgato camera. See if it works better. We had a lot of on us right now it's because we're in a white screen but the logitech cam has just been fucking up on me lately like even like my hands should not be this blurry when i wave it it's like it's not not doing right um here we go i wanted to send along some
Alright, I sent a little email over to the dev team. Oh man, well, I mean, we got a pretty good year. We're at 23. Should we just, is the stream over? Um, I mean, well, I could, I don't know. I have to, if I want to get my shrine bonus back, I gotta go back through the squats one more time. And it would be good to have that shrine bonus carry with me throughout the game. No, the game's great. My webcam just been a bitch lately. Devs are getting a lot of. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm. I'm talking to. I'm not emailing the the devs directly. I'm talking to, the the person that does their PR work, who will then pass it on over to someone in the dev team. You just email the devs for done grammatical issues. It's not a grammatical issue. It's a user experience issue. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be the only person who uh, encounters that. And honestly, if if you think that issues should just be ignored because, like, all, all issues in, in a game are important, bro. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a, a fucking grammatical issue or a game-breaking issue. Like, developers want to know about anything that's wrong with their game. Get your fucking dick out your ass. Super fucking close-minded thought process. I warned you, asshole. Yeah, right? Having clear text doesn't hurt. Like, that's always good. Keeping your players informed of the situation is good. Do I want to go through the whole level, or should I just get the one perk and continue? I guess I can get probably one more skill permanently unlocked going through the whole level again. Let's go eat your calzone. We're going to speed run it. Cause we're already going really fast. Yeah, no, if I, when I go to the club, I'll have the shrines. Oh, wait, 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 I see what you're saying. You're saying that I might have the three shrines... You're saying I might have the three shrines to start the third level with since I beat the first level with three shrines in level 23. That might be true. We can find out. So right here, character just says stat boosts by unlocking any shrines. If we go to the club, Well, shrines, we're seeing if shrines are attached to certain levels or not. We do! Wow. Yeah, because look, character, health gained on takedowns, three. So it saves it, it, it saves it as like a checkpoint for progress. But if you try to go back, you will lose it, but you'll keep permanent skills by going back. Forget about it. Ah! Ah! 
Private party. Back! <laughs> Any regret? <laughs> And I can actually speed through this level. Yeah? What do you want? Your face broken. Because I got the key to go straight to the boss fight. Drop your weapon! But if I go all the way through and I get three shrines, then I'm at six total for the next run. some ass right now. And we get a ton of health on takedown. Oh, I tried to parry that and I'm whiffed. Damn it. That's a huge amount of health I get back. follow-up flowing claw chasing strikes is a thousand chasing trip is also a thousand as long as the calzone but in the oven I put a timer on so it should go off but I have already aged a bit I don't know I mean I could wrap up let me see let me see where Paige is at. She's, she's far away. It doesn't make sense to end. Um, because if they're almost home, yeah, you can't get this anymore because it's permanent. Okay. Score. Structure regain, increase structure gain on successful avoidance. Increase focus regain on avoid or parry. Increase impact of parry on opponent structure. That would be really good to get, but a 5,000 score is gonna be hard to pick that one up. Um, increase max structure or half a focus bar. Yeah, I fucked up already. 
I'm not looking too hot on this level. I need a better score. Took too many hits. Went down too many times. Broke up my combo. Calzone is probably ready though. Let me see. I put the oven on for 10 minutes. When did we start the second level? Yeah, I sent the email about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, let me go grab the calzone. All right. Oh, no. ah, probably had it in there a little long. It's crispy now. Sure, it's still going to be. I like my cows are soft. Chicken say yeah, chicken, sausage, and mushroom. Damn, they already got back to me. Anyway, thanks for this feedback. We're going to send this on over to the team now. Hope you've been able to enjoy it. Oh, my mic. Oh, yeah, this game's fucking great. Mm. Dying light coming back? I'm going to try again tomorrow with it. Stromboli greater than Calzone. I like Strombolis, but I think Stromboli... I think of Strombolis as more of a snack than a meal, whereas calzones are very much a meal. Like strombolis are good if, you know, you're at like a, you're at a Super Bowl party and someone makes a big fucking thing of stromboli and cuts it into little slices. Uh 
There's a bug again. So the main difference, if I recall, I was waiting to hear when you were done streaming. Waiting to hear when you were coming up. No, so what, what it is is the, for some reason, the notifications for memberships are getting delayed. And so it'll wait like two hours and then we'll get like 10 notifications at once. It's so crispy, it might be easier to just go hands. It's bad boy. But uh, strombolis are like rolled. It's like a giant roll that's then cut. Calzone is essentially like a folded pizza. They're both breadier than normal pizzas. you get a code for Sekiro? Yeah. Hi. Lots of people didn't get Sekiro codes until launch. I don't know why we're talking about review process for a two-year-old game, but plenty of people got review code Sekiro. Mm. Here's a good calzone. And ricotta is great. I don't know what you got against Ricardo, Alyssa. Ricardo is the bomb. Hey, it's okay. You're you're fine. Free to be wrong. I ain't gonna judge. You don't like ricotta, and I don't like my calzones having no flavor. So, you know, we each have our preferences. Playing? Only if you come here and you feed me while I play.
Fuck, that's so good. I didn't end up trying the new ramen place because it wasn't open yet. But it's a chain and it looks like it's going to be really fucking good from looking at their website. Which is great because the only other ramen place around here is way down. Um, it's down in like the Gulch, which is like downtown Nashville. And I, I fucking hate going out to eat that far. This ramen place, on the other hand, when it opens, it's going to be like 10 minutes away. Um, I got a picture of it. Is she, is she done? Uh, Ichido Ramen. I C H I D D O. But their website, man, that ramen looks real good. Here, let me. Let me. Mm. This, this is the place that's, uh, uh, that. We got one of these coming. It's going to be fucking good, dude. It's going to be so good. Coming soon, Tennessee. Like, yes, please. Yes, please. Sign me up. Like a little, oh, my God. Oh, bro, I can't fucking wait. I'm going to eat so much ramen. I'm gonna eat so much fucking ramen. Oh god, it looks so good. This is the first one they'll have in Tennessee. All right, I got probably 30 minutes till Paige is home. Are we going to watch him eat or what? I mean, if you like watching me eat, you should see me fuck. Pornhub.com slash fighting cowboy. Forget about it. If you're not on the list, you're not getting inside. Private party. Back up. <laughs> Nerves get the better of... <laughs> Yeah? What do you want? Can't put that down.
No customers behind the bar. What drink do you want? No one's coming behind the bar. What are you waiting for? Drop your weapon. <laughs> Come at me. Same dude that got, got me before. The sweep? Oh. She was so close. So, we got this one. Health on takedown. Fuck, man. Structure regain. That would have been great if I didn't die. I need to see if I can get a... <clears throat> I need to get a 800 score on this level to pick that up. Because picking up, getting structure back to make sure I can't get parry broken would be really, really helpful. I'd rather get that than uh, one of the other perks. Forget about it. If you're not on the list, you're not getting it, son. I back off now. <laughs> Multiplier two times. I don't know if I could beat this drunk. Yeah? What do you want? That can't be possible. We're up to three ten. Oh, 
520. Broke my combo chain. No freaking way. Ah. As long as I can break 800 on her and the other two, we'll be okay. Thousand modifier. Focus, increase impact. I really would parry impact would be super good. But that's gonna be hard to work towards. So let's go structure regain on avoidance. Yeah, we're gonna go structure regain, and as our score gets higher, we're going to pick up uh Parry impact. I could go through there. I have the thing, the key card to go there, but we want to get all three. See for a dead by daylight too. I mean, this doesn't cost as much money. I think those both go. If I want to get all three, I think I have to go this way. There's a stamina gauge, it's <clears throat> bottom of the screen, center. It's similar to Sekiro in the sense that the gauge fills up as you take hits, or as you parry hits, the gauge increases. That guy actually might just be a bartender. Did you think this was a 
No, bro, I had the fucking takedown. Uh, chasing strikes. How did I do it? Attack on a pushed enemy to follow them up. I thought I was doing that, but maybe not. I probably have to push him against a wall. <clears throat> Out of here, big boy. Dude, fucking Captain Poise over here. No, I dodged you, fucking bitch. Damn it. We're gonna be 30 by the time this level's done. I mean, I could just take the shortcut through the level. I could take the shortcut through to get to the third level. I'm just being cooked alive by these people. Already fucking old. Wasn't it like, didn't we beat the level when we were already like 36? How are we older than that somehow? That's right, we got to 70 before we, we, uh... Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh, that score bonus would be good, but I'm just getting fucking dunked. Let me try the push kick one and see if that works better. I feel like the push didn't even work there. I need to remember where all the statues are on this level. an old man again. One of the trophies requires you to beat the game under the age of 25. Yeah. I can tell you right now, Platinum ain't happening for me. So far, that, that regain composure on dodge doesn't seem to work well. Like, I was expecting, like, little chunks. And I am not... I'm not seeing nearly enough, uh... Nearly enough XP for that. Like it doesn't feel like it's it's going down at any any faster than my it would on its own, you know. And one hit builds it up so much. Like, you're way better off just not getting fucking hit. So what happens if I'd gone the other way? There's a statue here. Let me- let me make my notes of the statues. That way I'm not like, is it- is it here? Is it there? Uh, what is this level called? The club? Statue on dance floor after blue hair boss. Statue through locked door after uh, Muay Thai guy. Bro, get off of me! Our age is getting higher and higher, man. We ain't, we ain't beating it this time, that's for sure. Increase structure gain. Unsuccessful. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna look at it more. I wanna pay really close attention to my structure level. It's like my structure in this game is the equivalent of like your posture or your stamina.
That time I saw a sizable chunk disappear. feel about my my attacks here it doesn't feel like they're the follow-up so hang on let me look at the follow-up it says on a pushed enemy what i don't get is that that says on a pushed enemy this move is called push kick but i'm not seeing that follow-up see that should have been the follow-up but the follow-up didn't happen Because when I push them, and if I push them against the wall, I'm hitting Y, and it's still not happening. So I thought that might be it. Maybe I need to get them against the wall. Chasing strikes works after the palm strike? It's weird that it doesn't work after the push kick. But that's good to know. I can at least test it out here. God damn it, would you just die? Any regrets now? Two more challenges lay ahead. Dexterity and endurance. But I'm afraid you'll be too late for the final trial. Pathetic! You can barely kill! So I should be able to avoid some shit and get my bar to drastically drop down. I don't think, I, I think for the avoidance, I don't think dodging moves counts. I think it's doing this shit. Yeah, so it's, it's the parry. It's, it's those dodges, not your actual dodge moves. Yeah, right. Damn. Maybe you can make them kill themselves with long stories. <laughs> uh, well, I gotta wrap up because life is almost talking about baby. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably try more Dying Light tomorrow, just to see how it's running with the new patch. Um, this is, we're, we're gonna be, this is all gonna be stream, but we're gonna be playing a lot of this. This is dope. I mean, the main reason I wanted to do it on stream versus videos is because of, like, this exact stream, you know? We spent a bunch of time, god, my camera is so fucked. I'm looking at it, like, glitch out, my mouth is moving, like, slow and shit. I can't wait till the new camera shows up. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll try again tomorrow or no, we'll probably die in light tomorrow. And then this on, on Tuesday, 
gonna try co-op tomorrow if it works i don't know if it's gonna work or not we could we can look real fast look let's look and see if uh if my co-op boots that way at least i know if tomorrow i need to because if i if i get into the mood if i know i am playing solo co-op's not a thing in this game i just need to convince myself that i can't do co-op the funny thing is, I've had so many people tell me that they've been playing on, like, PlayStation and Xbox, and they've had no issues at all. Like, co-op works, game works, it's running smooth. And meanwhile, on PC, it's like the derpy fucking cousin who has teeth growing out the top of his mouth. Which is, like, I mean, when is the PC version the dookie version, you know? That's, like, unheard of. The PC version sure seems to be the dookie version here. We're just, we're not playing this, by the way. We're just booting it up to check, uh, co-op to have an idea for stream tomorrow. Online. Hey, network connected. So if I went to favorites, I could seemingly invite them. Join game, watch game. I can join game. I don't know how to, how do I invite people? I went, do I have to go profile and invite? New friends, Endel's playing. So I go to Endel. Um, I can join game. How do I invite? Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I gotta go, I know why. I gotta go, so if I go online options, friends only, hit back, add friend, invite. Oh my God, all right, it's working, fuck. All right, well, we, I might actually have fun tomorrow with this then. Now now that uh, the co-op thing works, that's a, that's a big change, so. Wrapping things up here. We will uh, cover probably Dying Light tomorrow and then seafood the day after, I'm thinking. But yeah, y'all have a good night.